Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the smallest Class A gas motorhome that Integra makes in their whole lineup. This is the 2020 Integra Coach Vision Model 27A. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm going to give you three things I love about this motorhome and three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video again. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today we're taking a look at Integra Coach's smallest Class A. Now, you might have seen a video called the smallest Class A in the world. The whole thing is with that video, that was a hybrid. This is a true Class A, and what defines it as a true Class A is when it's on an F53 chassis. It's a chassis from Ford made for class A's. So uh, before we begin, I want everybody to say hi to Andrea. Hi, hi Andrea. Good morning. Hey, why don't you show everybody your sweatshirt? Oh yeah, Washington Nationals World Series Champions. That's right. How are you this morning? I'm good. All right, you want to say anything to everybody? Hi everybody, thank you for watching. All right, that's it, short and sweet. Short and sweet. She, she's, she's not so talkative. In the we, morning. When we make a video at 9 a.m. Cool, let's get started. Model is 27A, but the actual tip to tip length is 29 feet 11 inches. Because it's an Integra coach, you guys know this, I absolutely love the front headlight design. If it's on this product or a Vision XL or an Emblem, I just think it looks fantastic. I love aggressive headlights and I love how the Integra lights up while driving down the road. You do have a partial body paint kind of not really but a little bit this part right here this front cap is painted and they do that because the sunlight hits that and that's where a lot of fading happens but since it's paint it won't fade coming down the side you do have cameras integrated in the mirrors left and right camera in reverse again it is on the ford f53 chassis with 19.5 inch tires the ford engine 320 horsepower 460 pounds of torque, all that good stuff. Right here, you do have storage. Now, this is Integra Coach's entry level motorhome, but even though it's entry level, they still give you slam latch doors. I love that. I'm not a fan of those uh, twisty lock doors, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right oh, that's a nice here, size TV. Look at this entertainment center. This is awesome. It looks like it does swivel as well. Yep, it does swivel out. You got your Furion speaker system. You even got power right there. That's a good size TV for it a small is. motorhome like this. And you do have a power awning with LED lights. being a salesman when I say an Integra coach and a Jayco is the exact same thing. Well, look at that. It has the same exact warranty as Jayco, and it even says Jayco on the side of the motorhome. It's a two-year tip-to-tip, three-year structural warranty. Now, if you're wondering, and I didn't mention this, this video is going to apply if you're also looking at the Jayco Alante 27A. Look at the nice, beautiful awning. I love the pattern. I did, yeah. Underneath. I like that it's not, you know, just that white, plain kind of look. Oh, <laughs> God bless you. Oh, <laughs> bless you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Look at this nice pasture storage. Oh, yeah. It's a good size. Frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. More storage there. Here's your water heater. This is a six gallon DSI water heater, gas and electric. Coming down the side, a little bit more storage because you never have enough. Right here is a propane quick connect if you want to have a grill. 
and then right here is a little bit more storage. I tell you what, you can definitely tell the difference since it's on the F53 chassis from the smallest mo Class A gas motorhome in the world because uh, it's on a different chassis. So it has like Class C storage where this is true Class A storage. Coming around the back, you have a bumper, which I love. That's a great place to put your sewer hose. Love that. You got a backup camera right there. Pretty basic for the rear, nothing too fancy going on. Entry level motorhome. And you do have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, is this an integral coach with a ladder? Yes, it is. Hey guys, I think our <laughs> message is getting there. They're putting ladders on stuff now. We did it, y'all. Now, what about the hitch, Matthew? Oh, sorry. 5,000 pound hitch in this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Let's go up on the roof and take a look. Here we go. Didn't the last Integra we, we did didn't have a, not the Vision XL, but the other one didn't have a ladder, right? Of course not. That's why we're, we're making positive changes in the world, exactly. Andrea. Up here on the roof, you can see that it is a nice one piece fiberglass roof. Even though this is such a small motorhome, it's still 50 amp and they're giving you two air conditioning units. I love that. Right up there is your digital antenna. And then right here it is prepped for solar. And you just run the wires and you can put some good solar panels here and some solar panels here. Very awesome roof. All right, here we go. Great, and if you haven't already, Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof to show you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Yeah, hold my breath every time you go up there, Matthew. It's okay, I got that life insurance. It scares me. But uh, here's your wet bay sanitation station. I love this. 50 amp power cord. You have a hole right there. Here's where everything is. Where's the sewer? Oh, well no, not the sewer. The sewer's gonna be over here. Oh, okay. Here's your fuel fill up, 80 gallon fuel capacity. Also, I'll have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome, lengths, tank sizes, widths, heights, everything down in the description below. Here's your black oh. and gray tank dump stations okay, right there. that's interesting. Yep, it's, well, what's nice is, look at this. I mean, it's, it's a good height. You don't need to be crawling on the yeah. ground. And if you're crawling on the ground where people are dumping, that means you're probably crawling the, over other stuff. Flush, right? I don't know what that is right don't there. Don't you pull that out and that's what releases the... Oh, man. I don't even know what that's for. No, it must... What the hell's going on? I have no idea what that's for. If anybody knows what this is for, leave down a comment below. All right. Right here, you have a Cummins Onan 5500 generator. Over here, you have more storage right here. And then right here, oh, I love this. There's your electric leveling. I love how you have your batteries here on a Mori tray so it makes it easier to get in and out. And then right there, you have a 16.5 gallon propane tank. And a little bit more storage because you can never have enough. Well, the outside of this RV looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Oops. Come on, take a look, Andrea. Right inside the 27A. This is what the motorhome Let looks walk like when through. the slide outs are closed. Walk through to the bathroom. Oh, nice. Okay. Great. Now, while you do that, let's extend these slide outs. Now, while I'm doing this, I have a huge favor to ask everybody. If you could, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things. Oops, show. Get, get right here, please.
Let us know three things you like about. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about this motorhome. The more people who comment and hit that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our channel to. And Andrea, guess how many subscribers we have? How many? 22,000 oh subscribers. Oh my Every day just keeps growing our last and growing. Video, I think we were at like 20 or something. I'm just so amazed. We, we can't tell you how much we appreciate every single person who watches one of our videos. Absolutely, and we love all of you. Well, not all of you. Not the people who call me a fat piece of crap, but we love everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I appreciate, even the people that don't like me, I appreciate you watching anyway. Ain't that right? That's right. Cool. Okie dokie, we'll get started up front here. Up front, up, up front in the driver's area, you know, entry level class A motorhome, not a lot of bells and whistles and good stuff going on up here. Uh, you have a cup holder here. I'm not a fan that there's not a slide out tray. What are you doing, Cody? You know, because they had those flimsy ones. Now there's not a single one. I don't know about that. Over here in the driver's seat, you do have a power adjustable driver's seat, which is very nice. I'm a fan of that. You know, you have your electric leveling right here. Everything's within arm's distance. Then you have your camera right here. And I believe, you know, you have your Sirius XM radio, USB, all that good stuff right there. Cool. Up here, you do have a bunk over the cab. And it's a record. It holds a record 750 pounds. I like that. That's for safety. Yes. Oh! That's a nice part. Look at that! They fixed that, y'all! That's two things, yo! Integralist must be watching our videos. Because look, on the other ones, you had to turn this seat to access the bed. That's so funny. Good job, y'all. And now you don't have to do anything at all. Just put the bed down. Right, because they're watching our videos. Because um, if, if enough people say something stupid, they'll change it. Now, I have to say, this is probably my favorite bunk. Yeah, no, no doubt. The one thing is, uh, it is kind of missing a netting on that side. Um, but don't worry, we can add that. Don't let that be a deal. Because it holds 750 pounds, so it's a, it's a more comfortable, bigger bunk. Yep. Yep. Cool, I'm a huge fan of this. Definitely. And then you have a cushion right here for when the dinette drops down and makes a bed. I'll leave this halfway up. Cool, here's your dinette. No store, what was their storage? You got seatbelts on both sides. Okay, check see. this out. You do have storage underneath, right? And the dinette does drop down, drop down and make a bed. And that's what that cushion's for. Also, you have a televator. Before the televator, you have your nice blinds right there for privacy. Now, that's in a good position. It is, because it's directly across. Yep. Let me see the thing. It is directly across from the sofa. Andrea. Yes. We all need to know, is this TV placement, is that Andrea approved? It is. Awesome. <laughs> now, um, if you guys look to see how small this motorhome is, the competition who are making 27 foot motorhomes, uh, they're only putting one AC unit in yes. and making it 30 amp. Integra still makes it 50 amp and still puts in two air conditioners. Yes, units. one there and one in the bedroom. I love that. You have a little bit of storage right there. That's where a DVD player is. You know, a little bit because something's better than nothing. And then over above the sofa, you have a great amount of overhead storage. I like that. Now this sofa only drops down to a, a jackknife sofa, right? This sofa, I don't know what it does. Yeah, so yeah, it's a jackknife. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you can fit like, you know, jackknife one person sofa. on there. Yep. Again, with that bunk over the cab, this you want to use kind of as a last resort. But it's a good, comfortable sofa. It's a type of material that feels like it won't get too dirty. 
right? Am yeah. I, am I it, no, that? it it does feel. I don't know. More I don't like know. It's, it's a vinyl. Yeah, it's definitely not like the fake leather they've been using. Yeah. Um, it's very weird, weird texture. But look, I mean, there's eight seatbelts in here. I mean, this thing can haul some folks in it. Oh, speaking of hauling some folks, we got to get the cargo carrying capacity. We always forget that. Well, we just started doing it. Cargo carrying capacity is 2,427 pounds. Wow. That's a lot of cargo that carrying is. capacity. And remember, folks, that's with your water tanks full, your fuel tanks full, and that's it. Over here in the kitchen, I like it's a little corner kitchen niche thing. You got your tower of power right there. Check out that sink. Nice. Nice, nice sink. Cabinetry. Microwave. Oven. Oh yeah. Fury on cooktop burner. Look at this nice tile. That's real nice. Drawers. Then you got your drawers here. One more at the bottom. Let me see that big one right there. Oh my god. Okay, that's a good size. Alright. Now across from the kitchen is your refrigerator. I mean, this is just a great setup at a great price point. Speaking of, what is the price? MSRP. Thanks for asking, Andre. I thought you would never ask. MSRP on this motorhome is... $133,209. Yeah. That's expensive, y'all. Sale price on this motorhome, we have it discounted at 26% off. That's called map pricing. That's the lowest Integra coach will allow us to advertise it for. And that's $99,999.99. But that's not the best price you can get on this motorhome. Andrea, tell them what they can do. You can call, you can text, you can oh. email, or oh. FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962, or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Check it out, y'all. I'll have a link in the description below to go on General RV's website to see all the in-stock 27As. But if you want to work with me personally, I would love that. Call me directly. It doesn't matter where you are in the country. I will hook you up with the closest General RV dealership. If you don't want to fly down here to sunny Ocala, Florida. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't want to fly down here to sunny Florida? Right. Visit Mickey Mouse. And Disney. there's a panel right there, guys. Yep. You got your inverter. Yep. Air conditioning. Yep. And, and your panel. You got her. A little bit more storage right there next you to the fridge. Never have enough. Never have enough. No heat ducts in the floor. I like it's coming that. Coming into the side. And then over here is the bedroom area. You know, look at this. Oh my God, this is a great. Oh wow. Storage. Okay. Look, for a small motor. Home, yes. Look, it has drawers there. Drawers. His and hers. That's crazy. Drawers. Very nice. Very nice. Then you have a pocket door right there. And look at this. Oh my gosh. You know, this is a lot of storage. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little cramped right here. Okay, I feel a little cramped. I feel like I'm going to be squeezing through, moving in a grooving, right? Got to like, you know, do that stuff. But at the same time, this motorhome is good for every single state and national park. So if you don't want to feel cramped like I feel right now, get a bigger motorhome. But if you want one that's small, you know, oh. this one's pushing all the buttons, right? Guys, here. and that's the, the pedestal table that goes in between the driver's seat and passenger seat up front. So. Also, I love how there's three windows around the yes. bed head area. Um, Plenty of light to come in. Yeah. Well, Does no, this just cross ventilation. Uh, storage underneath or cross no? Cross ventilation. No, probably not. No. Nope. Okay. And then across from the bed, we have another. Oh, man, I didn't even see this. Look at this. This is crazy. Man, these are really big sizes. That's crazy. That is crazy, y'all. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Here we go. Porcelain toilet. Nice. Um, it's a little high for me, but it's not the highest. I'm not swinging my legs. That's in a good spot. That's in a very good spot. 
So like, here's the here's my only thing. This I'm rubbing against, but it's not the end of the world. At least you know I can you know brace you know. So it's good. It passes the test. Again, it. So here's what I would say. If this was a um like a 32 footer, it would fail. Here, let's close the door. Right. So oh. It still passes. Oh yeah. So he has plenty of room. Plenty of space. What I'm saying is, if this was like a 32 foot motorhome, it would fail. But again, since it's so small, very, very nice. I mean, this is a good size bathroom for it. And look at this shower. Oh my God. Wow. This is a spacious shower. I absolutely love this. I am definitely surprised. I'm a huge bathroom. fan. I'm a huge fan. Towel rack. Yep. Really good bathroom for, for what it is. Okay. Got the sink. Yep. All right. Yeah, it is spacey yep. how little this is. Great. So that's the review. Now, before you leave, it's time that we give you the three things we love about this motorhome and the three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Three things we love about it. Okay. I love that shower size. Absolutely. That's a 30, I a totally agree. Shower. And in a small motorhome like this, I mean, you cannot beat that. I agree. That's one. Two. I like the placement here of the TV. Well, hang on a second. Let's say it again. <laughs> I love the televator. I love the placement of the TV, where it is. You know, you're sitting here, you're watching TV. We don't have to move our necks like this because it's somewhere else. You don't like w watching, turning your head sideways no. to watch TV? I do not. I concur. <laughs> Great position. Great. And you have the option of putting that televator down. Yep, if you don't need a TV. If you don't need it, and then you have that nice window there with the sunlight. So Absolutely. It's great. Perfect. And then three, what I'm going to say it is, the con quality and construction of what this product is. Even though this is their smallest motorhome, they're still giving you the fiberglass roof, still giving you sand latch doors, still giving you two AC units in a 50 amp motorhome, and this is supposed to be their smallest and cheapest Class A motorhome on the market. So I absolutely love those features, and it is freaking awesome. Oh, and the fact, four things. The fact that Integra listened and fixed the problem, and they added a ladder on the back, and they made this chair so it doesn't have to swivel. Great freaking job. Now, three things I don't like about this motorhome. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, first and foremost, love the 750 pound bunk. Hate that there's no netting back there. There should be netting back there, because. It's, you don't need netting right here, but you definitely need netting back there um, so nothing falls and goes down there and then it's really awkward. So that's one. Do you have a dislike? Me? Yep. Um, yes, I do. What's it, your dislike? It's, it's very minor. Well, tell us. Like you said, the bed over here, it is a little cramped to move around. Yep. Um, it's, it's not a deal breaker, and, and it's like you said, you can get into all the parks with this size, and it, you can utilize everything with the space, but yeah, it, it, it is a little cramped getting in and out. Adding on to that, flip up the bed, you know. And it folds. And it folds, you yeah. know, so you can't lay on it while driving down the road. Right. But again, it is a nice king size bed, and that's, you know, it's a give and a take. Yeah. And then my third thing is gonna be outside, but I don't remember what it was. But I feel like when we go outside, I'm going to remember what it was. So I remember it was something outside. Hmm. What could it have been? Oh, that's what it is. See, I knew I would remember. Water heater being black. Paint it cream. Make it blended with the motorhome. That's all. Little things. But hey, when... They make these motorhomes so great that sometimes it is hard to find three things we like and don't like, but that was something that stuck out to me like a sore thumb. So that's it. Let's go over here, please. That's it. That's the review. I want to thank absolutely everybody for watching and thank you for helping us hit 22,000 subscribers. We appreciate it all. Um, by the way, I've been getting a lot of comments. This is not the horns of Satan, y'all. This is just rock on. This is just what I do when I'm on camera. and what's it called like a tick or something uh, what what do you mean like like it's just like i, I don't think about doing it yeah you know? 
But that's not the horns of Satan, y'all. So chill. You know he would be saying? in big trouble if he was doing that. Yeah, no, none of that. We love everybody. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions about this RV or any other RV, call me, text me, send me an email. It is 301-906-0962 or maxrvreviews at gmail.com. If you want to see other small Class A motorhomes, uh, I'll have a video right here for you to check out. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video update. Andrea, close it out. We'll see you next time. Hey.